Welcome to the cellar. Welcome to the cellar. So guys, Pete here. Got a uh, real quick tutorial for you today. Um, pretty cool stuff actually. Uh, it's kind of simple, but it, it, I, to me it makes a little bit of a difference. It's working with red footage. So if you guys are working with uh, RD3s and some red footage here, this will help you with your import process. And um, what I noticed was I was working with all the stock footage that someone shot and I was putting it together. And as I would drag in the folders, I would get in, um, you know, you get in your clips that you have and then you would get in these other folders where there would be, you know, cl certain clips inside folders. And those clips would be labeled, you know, whatever is 001, whatever is 002. And what they actually are is if you're on the red and you're shooting just like a DSLR and you shoot over a certain time in order to save the memory, it makes a second clip, which is great in case something gets corrupted, you have multiple clips. However, when you actually bring it in um, from the from red and you actually drag it into your, you know, your NLE, especially Premiere, what happens is it actually processes the clip for you. So now every single clip, whether it's 001 or 002, is exactly the same. It's the full length clip, but you still have multiple copies of it, which kind of gets annoying because now you got to get rid of them, take it out of the folder, and it's very easy to just take all your clips and drag it into your B-roll folder rather than having to go through folders and pick one and then delete the other two and then delete the folder and drag it in and so forth and so on. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. The normal way we can import footage um, you know, and you can do it, you can do this, there's multiple ways to import footage, you know, even if you go to file, import, alright, and we bring up here, and we go to where my stock footage is, boop, boop. and let's go to day two, alright, so let's say I would import these three right here, so you import folders here, it's a lot of footage, and they're high ranks, so you can see, when I open the first folder, I have folders here and then I have clips and this folder right here as you can see here these are the exact same clip so if I make a timeline real quick and then I drag number two over top of number one and we go anywhere on the timeline and then I block out the second layer it's exactly the same see exactly the same clip does not matter so let's undo all that okay and now Let's go back and try a different way. So normally my style when I'm doing DSLRs is I'm just going to drag in, say, a day two folder. It'll have all my stuff in there, and I'll have it in the same folder hierarchy that I have on my finder, which is exactly how you always want to do things. However, watch what happens again. So day two, I go here. Same thing. I have folders, but I have multiple clips here. You can see in here I have multiple clips here. So I would need to... Technically, I would need to delete this clip, bring this into here, and then delete this folder so that I can just select all these clips and bring them onto my B-roll, which is you know, normally how I'd like to do it instead of you know having multiple folders to go through for no reason. So let's undo everything. And the second thing, or the next thing I tried, was I said, all right, well, maybe if I just drag in the folders, we should be okay then. So maybe just individual folders and um, then all the clips would line up and it would process the clips the right way so I wouldn't have to go through and delete and all that stuff to organize. But nope, same exact thing. You can see the labels, same folders, multiple clips, and just a complete waste of time. So, next thing I did was I went to the media browser. Now, the media browser happens to be where it's at. So if you don't have the media browser open, just go to Window, go down to Media Browser, or Shift-8 if you have not changed your keyboard shortcuts, um, and it's right there. So what I did is I found the Media Browser, if anyone does not know, it's exactly like your Finder, it's just a way to access it. So if you go into the same place I was there, and we go into Footage, and we go to Day 2, you'll see I have the three folders here. Now if I drag one of these folders in from the Media Browser, I'm going to get the same exact effect as if I dragged it right over straight from the Finder, meaning I'm going to have those folders still in there. So as you can see here, same folders and so forth and so on. Now, I'm using day two here just because that's the one I grabbed. But uh, you can see there's only like three or four folders, so it's not that big of a clip. But if I go down to say, uh, I think it was day five, right? And I drag in day five here. I think there was a, a lot of extended clips here, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see in a situation like this, it becomes quite annoying because I got to go through every folder just to drag over one single clip delete the other two, put it back in the regular folder so I can easily have them all in one line, and it kind of can get confusing on where you're at and so forth and so on. Not a big deal, 
but like editing is speed so the faster i can get things done the more money i can make the better off i can be uh and the better i can get to concentrating on what really matters instead of this organizational stuff so same thing here as you can see i have a lot of folders in the vegas thing and they're all popping up here and that becomes quite annoying because like i said I, I like to work fast so let's take this off and let's see what i discovered here what i did was in day five i'm going to actually go into the folder and you're going to see it's going to take a second but you're going to see it processes all the clips so there i do command a to select them all i can drag them in i can even drag them into a bin just like it's there and label it the same thing but the cool part about this is now i have just clips you know what I mean? So I can literally go day two, label this day two, and I will have only the clips from day two because it goes through Premiere and processes the clips and only pulls in the clips, not the entire folder with the multiple repeated clips that it normally does. You see, it's taken a little bit longer to do this, but it saves me time in the long run, and I'm, I don't have to do anything but watch this thing process. So here we go. You can see all the clips, no folders whatsoever, have them right in order. So if I wanted to, I could easily just... Select all, drag them into a timeline, and I'd be good to go to start my B-roll clips. Uh, so, saves you a little bit of time there, makes it easy. I can literally go here, day two. Um, oh, actually, this is day five. Day five, Las Vegas. Boom. And now I would have all my clips in there from day five. All right? And if I wanted to do it again, I can go to the second day five clip. Go to the second thing, let it read and process all the clips, and bang. Go through, drag them into my Vegas folder, and watch them import. And that was not a 64 gig card, so it was a lot quicker. Look at that, bang. So I have them all in order. You can see from 0, 01 all the way down to 339. No folders, no clips, nothing to stop me from just moving forward. So hope this helps. It's a much better way to import your red footage, especially if you have a lot of it and you don't want those excess folders and you've been shooting those extended clips. Uh, if not, just drag and drop and you're good to go as normal. But hopefully this helps speeds up your thing. Memorama, my short film, will be coming out soon. Um, it's in right now finishing up the sound and the final effects. Very excited to show that. So look for that coming soon from Edit Seller. Uh, thanks for spending time with me. I'll talk to you soon.